Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I am Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I've got a review, and this one comes from New Image in collaboration with Bottle Logic, and this is going to be Canaheim. So, a play on words there with uh, cannabis and Anaheim. This is a double dry hopped IPA with terpenes. So, if you don't know what terpenes are, just go look them up uh, because if I try to explain it, I'm going to butcher it. So anyway, uh, as you can see, the there's a lot of hops and like marijuana leaves and stuff. So this is kind of an interesting one. It's 9% and it gives the ingredients as well. So um, it's got two row dextrin, crystal 15 and dextrose. It's hop with mos uh, mosaic incognito. Uh, Columbus, Centennial, Simcoe, and Strata, American Ale Yeast, and then the miscellaneous ingredients are Pineapple Express and SFV OG Terpene Blends. So um, using some terpenes from um, two different strains of cannabis, uh, but there is no THC in the beer. There's no... Um, CBD, nothing like that. It's literally just look it up. It, it has something to do with the oils, though. But uh, anyway, this was canned on May 12th, so it's just a little over a month old. Um, so I'm ready to dive into this one. I think it should be interesting. Probably going to be super dank. Let's go ahead and give it a shot here. I don't know if it's a hazy or just a regular like West Coast double or what. I can smell it from here. Uh, it, it looks more clear coming out of the can, but I don't know if it's actually going to we'll leave some room there. But yeah, it's a clear beer. Um, you can, yeah, you can see kind of see through it for the most part. It's a little hazy on the glass, but uh, mostly condensation. We're using our Prohibition uh, or Repeal Day glass. Love this thing. Uh, anyway, appearance-wise, comes in just sort of a light golden color. Um, maybe a little bit more uh, yellow than, uh, you know, like an orange or whatever. But about a finger's worth. Fluffy, bright white head. It's dissipating fairly quickly, though. All right, well, let's go ahead and show our nose in it. Yeah, it smells like freaking, it smells like weed. It smells like citrusy, like fruity weed. And I don't use uh, cannabis personally, but I have smelled it enough to kind of get, you know, be able to put the two together of what this, you know, that it actually smells like it. I've been to a lot of concerts as well. But yeah, this one um, it definitely has the super, super dankness that you would expect, um, especially using terpenes from a cannabis. But um, yeah, it's definitely dominating with the, the um, dank qualities. Uh, aside from that, or maybe underneath that, there is a nice uh, heaping dose of citrus fruit. Yeah, it's very orange and grapefruity. There is a light sort of uh, crackery malt profile. It smells like it has a little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, I mean, it almost has, the hop character is almost like a mixture of like a new school and old school. Like it's using uh, Mosaic Incognito, <clears throat> Simcoe, and Strata, which I know Simcoe is an older hop, but, um, and then it's using Columbus, and Centennial on top of that. Like it's almost got like a West Coasty type of vibe, maybe a little less like malt sweetness, but it also has a little bit of like a higher intensity, like <clears throat> fruitiness that you would maybe associate with a, you know, a hazy or, or a New England style IPA. So um, pretty cool uh, aroma. Let's go ahead and dive in. Cheers. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's 
very, very weedy for sure. That kind of rides all the way through. You get it most of that on the back end, on the um, after the taste, but on the back of the tongue. <clears throat> but yeah, it's got a, like a lower carbonation level than like a West Coast IPA would have. So another thing to kind of put it on the, you know, on the fence of of the two styles. But a little lighter of a mouthfeel as well. I would say it's sitting somewhere around medium, but maybe on the lighter side. Uh, for 9%, the alcohol is really well hidden. Um, it's <clears throat> fairly easy to drink. Uh, as, you know, with that ABV, you might expect a little bit of booze or something, but no, it's it's pretty well hidden. I mean, in breweries these days, man, with these new beers, like, it's, you don't see them very boozy anymore on as far as IPAs go. Yeah, more, I mean... Orange, grapefruit, pineapple, maybe a little bit of berry or something like that from that mosaic. But the dankness in this one is very much just like straight cannabis type weedy. It's not like, you know, the Jim Walker mosaic dankness, but there is like a little bit of like a leafy, almost vegetal grassiness in there too. But yeah, pretty tasty beer for sure. The more I drink it, the more the base beer and the hops come through a little more as opposed to the weediness. That's kind of just like an initial shock factor almost on the taste and, and the aroma. But you start kind of getting a little bit more out of it um, as, as you keep drinking it. So um, I think this is a pretty good one. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So, um, as for a rating, I think, I think I would go like a four, two. I think it's, it's pretty solid. So, um, yeah, let me know if you've had this one. As I said before, this is called Canaheim and this is new image and bottle logic, uh, collaboration. So I picked this up from new image while I was there in Colorado. Anyway, yeah, let me know if you've had it. And as always, uh, if you like the video, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.